getting started. Okay. How have you enjoyed the convention so far? Well, I tell you what, it's it's uh, it's a miracle, and the miracle is what I'm about, and Daniel and I are about to explain to you now. You see, uh, when we got started in in the sales and marketing business, we were very fortunate because we went to work with a gentleman out of Chicago called W. Clement Stone. I don't know if you've ever heard of Clement Stone or not, but he uh, he was the the man who I believe invented PMA. You know what PMA is? Positive Mental Attitude, okay? And uh, we learned the foundations of sales and marketing uh, from him, okay? And one of the things that uh, we also learned is that everything cycles. Everything has a cycle, okay? Life has a cycle. Uh, you know, you're born, you know, you grow up, you level off, and, you know, you look, you die, okay? Well, so does business. Business has a life cycle, okay? But it's a little different because businesses do not have to die. Businesses are born, like Ameriplan was born in November of 1992. And it grew, and it grew, and it grew. Then it leveled off, okay? Now, here's the key. What you have to do to take it to the next level, is you have to look back and say, what were you doing when you were growing and growing and growing? And I'm sure you've heard the old expression, it's time to get back to basics. Haven't you? Okay, well over this last year, Daniel and I have spent literally thousands of hours looking at what were we doing back 20 years ago when things were just skyrocketing that we're not doing today, okay? And we found out some amazing things. What we found out was that uh, 20 years ago, it was, there were three things that really uh, was the essence and the foundation of our growth. And those three things were low entry to become an IBO, high commissions once you became an IBO, and a low reoccurring cost to stay in IPO. Low entry, high commissions, and low reoccurring business cost, okay? What we, were, we looked up and what we've been doing for the last five plus years was interesting because it was exactly opposite. It was high entry, $165 or so, to become an IPO once you buy that lifestyle, right? High entry, low commissions, okay, and high reoccurring. So what Daniel and I decided to do was let's get back to basics. Let's get back to those things that made us successful. All right, now, so, all right, we felt the need to lower the entry cost to become an IBO while increasing on upfront commissions, okay? So here are the changes that we have decided to make to get us back to building like we were building 20 years ago. First of all, I want to tell you, you do not have to take notes, okay? Because we're, everybody will leave here today with this packet. And in this packet is a brochure that explains everything that I'm going to tell you about this afternoon. So just don't take notes, just pay very close attention. Now, we also learned uh, last year that we shouldn't, you know, make a change and immediately. Because the way people market uh, their uh, memberships today and recruit IBOs is different than it was 20 years ago. How many of you use websites to market today? Did you know there was not such a thing as a website 20 years ago? It didn't exist, okay? So all the changes that I'm going to be telling you about this afternoon will not be effective until September the 1st of this year. So that gives you all the balance of July and all of August to 
get all the websites in consistency with all these changes. What about that? Okay. Good idea, right? Okay. I thought a web was something aspiring. That's right. Yeah. Or duck feet. Yeah. Or duck feet. Right. Okay. All right. Beginning September the first of 2015 this year, the annual enrollment fee will it, uh, to become an IBO. Okay. Uh, it's going to be only twenty-four dollars and ninety-five cents. Okay. That's the only thing. Okay. Now, what I've got up there is not what I'm talking about. Let me move. All right. Here we go. So, the uh, it'll be twenty-four ninety-five to become an IBO. All right. Now, that twenty-four ninety-five is non-commissionable because it is an annual enrollment fee. Okay, everybody got that? All right, now let me tell you why it's not going to be commissionable. The FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, which is the regulator for our industry, says you cannot pay a commission for the act of recruiting an IBO. Okay, I don't know if you knew that or not. So that forbids us from paying a commission for, on that annual enrollment fee. Okay, so uh, it's $24.95, all right? And let me see if I've got one right here, okay. Now, we're gonna change the membership a little bit. The foundation of AmeriPlan from day one was that little old dental plan, right? It is a fantastic product. There's nothing like it out there today. So, first of all, to, you know, right now we have probably eight to 10 different products, right? Okay. We're gonna narrow it down just to two uh, plans, all right? We're gonna narrow it down to Dental Plus, which is the foundation of the company. Uh, probably 80 to 85% of AmeriPlan's revenues come from that dental plan, okay? And we're going to enhance it. We're gonna add additional benefits into Dental Plus, okay? The second plan that we're introducing uh, September the 1st, we're calling MedPlus. Now MedPlus will be a four benefit plan. It will be telemedicine, hospital advocacy, ancillary medical services, and a discount prescription card. Four benefits, all right? Now, what we're gonna do, we have been on the Dental Plus $19.95 probably for 15 to 18 years. We added additional benefits to Dental Plus, and so the, both of those memberships, effective September the 1st, will be only $25 a month, okay, for both of them. So, uh, there'll be a one-time $20 registration fee, and, uh, and the plan itself is $25, okay? Now, you will be able, to take both the Dental Plus and the Med Plus and combine them into one plan, okay? Which we're calling a combo. And that will only be $40 a month for both plans. So you can put them together, which would regularly be $50, 25 each. Now you can buy, you can, a person can buy it for $40 with a one-time registration fee of only $35, okay? Now here's the thing about it. Dental Plus is designed uh, for those areas where we have dental providers. And that is in most cities of 50,000 populations or more, okay? I did an analysis of where our providers were. And by the way, would you like to know how many dental providers we have nationally? We have 83,000 dental providers. Now, interestingly enough, there's only 130,000 dentists in the entire United States. And 83,000 of them are directly contracted to AmeriPlan. I looked at cities from 50,000 up, and what I found is that we have a tremendous dental provider base in all those cities across the United States. Isn't that great? Fantastic. So you can sell that plan in any city of 50,000 or more. But we wanted a plan that you could sell in small cities. 
kind of like Brownwood, Texas. Okay? <laughs> Brownwood, Texas is where Daniel and I were born, and it has about 15,000 people in it. Okay? There's four dentists in that town. Uh, they all work four days a week. They all make about a half a million dollars a year. Uh, and they're not a bit interested in discounting their prices to anybody, okay? So the product that you can sell in these small, what I call mini markets, the 1,500 or 2,000 populations, is that Med Plus, okay? It is a phenomenal product. Who all here is familiar with telemedicine? Have you heard about it? It's a fantastic product. In fact, we're going to have the president of the service provider on telemedicine as a speaker tomorrow. Don't miss it, okay? It's going to be, it's going to be great. All right. Okay, now, uh, effective September the 1st, in order to become a commissioned qualified IBO. Now remember, it's $24.95 to sign up as an IBO. And for that $24.95, you get everything that you need uh, to uh, run your business, okay? You get your websites, you get your e-commerce capabilities, you get your back office, everything that you need to do business for $24.95 a year. However, in order to become commission qualified, okay, a new IBO must buy for their own personal use, and that, believe me, that's what your new IBOs ought to do, is buy for their own personal use. Because in order to be effective, in my opinion, you need, a, you, need you must be a product of the product. How can you go out and recommend a dental plan that you don't use? Yeah, how can you recommend uh, uh, telemedicine unless you use telemedicine, okay? So they must either buy a Dental Plus or a Med Plus or a combo for their own personal use or they've got to sell it to a customer, okay? That qualified, that gets them commission qualified, okay? So let's take a look at it. A regular membership is uh, Dental Plus or Med Plus is $24.95 annual enrollment fee. There's a $25 membership fee and there's a $20 uh, registration fee. So to become a commission qualified IBO beginning September the 1st is only going to be $69.95. Isn't that great? All right. Now, if you really want to get started uh, in the best way, I would recommend that you start with a combo membership because not only do you get Dental Plus, but you get Med Plus. So it's $24.95 annual enrollment fee, it's a $40 membership fee for the combo, and a $35 registration. So for the whole big banana, it's only $99.95 to sign up and be commission qualified. Isn't that great? All right. Now. Let me do this. Hospital uh, advocacy. You know, uh, if you go to the hospital and you have the hospital advocacy, has anybody here ever used a hospital advocacy? No. No. Well, you know, you went to the hospital, you had got a hospital bill, you were assigned an advocate, right? And the advocate negotiated with the hospital, got your hospital bill down, and sometimes for nothing, right? And. Uh, uh, tell, us, tell us about your experience with hospital advocacy over there. Stand up. company, not only will they negotiate your bill with the hospital that you're incurring today forward, but if you become a member of Med Plus, they will go back, and if your bill, if you've had a bill in the past, 
they will go in and negotiate it down. designed this new product where if you want to print your own brochures at home and you have a printer, okay, if you have a color printer, you, you can print this brochure. Now we've designed where you can use eight and a half, eleven, they're no more folded, they're, you just print them out, okay, and fold them yourself, and they cost absolutely nothing because you're doing them at home, right? If you don't have a color printer, we designed this brochure that you can print at home, okay? Uh, and you can do it in black and white, and it's designed where it'll look very, very good in black and white, okay? And then you just fold it and you use it and it doesn't cost you anything. But what we found out is some of the folks out there want the upgraded version of uh, the plan. So we, we have these three. This is the Dental Plus, new Dental Plus brochure. And uh, it's just uh, folded, just like the ones you're going to get do at home. And then we have the uh, Med Plus brochure uh, that, uh, that, you can, that we have. And then we have the combo. Now, you'll be able to order these upscale brochures on your back office after September the 1st, or you can print them at home like this. Right. Either or, okay? Great, all right. Let's talk, uh, here we go. Let's talk money for recruiting IBOs, okay? Yeah. Let's talk about money, okay. Now, uh, effective September the 1st, all IBO commissions will pay 40% straight across. No more 30, 35, and 40. Everybody gets 40%, okay? All right. And because of that, a brand new IBO, if they fast track uh, to RSD within their first 30 days, uh, they can, uh, they will get a fast track bonus and, and they could make a thousand dollars their first 30 days in AmeriPlan. Isn't that great? All right. Now let's talk about commissions. We're going to start advancing commissions, okay? And here's how it's going to work. On the first qualified IBO that you recruit in a month, you will get a four months advance or $40, okay? Because 40% of $25 is what? $10, right? All right. Four months and $10 is $40, correct? So you write an IBO, and your first one that you do that month, you're going to get checked for $40. Now, the second one you recruit that month, you're going to get a five-month advance, or $50. The third IBO you recruit that month, you're going to get a six month advance or sixty dollars you, you, you follow me okay now the fourth ibo that you recruit that month you're going to get a seven month advance or seventy dollars for recruiting that ibo okay the fifth ibo that you recruit in that month you're going to get an eight month advance or eighty dollars for recruiting that new ibo now from the fifth through the 6th, I mean the 6th through the 10th, you'll get $90 or a nine month advance, right? Now here's the, here's the boy, and we got people that do this. Beginning with your 11th recruit in that month, you will get a 10 month advance or a $100 on number 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, 18, 19, 20, All right. Now, here's an option for you. There are some IBOs uh, that don't want advances. You will have the option in your back office to switch to an ASR if you choose to, okay? 
So you can, the standard is going to be advances, okay? But you can switch it and go as earned, all right? Now, here's a, a, a advanced commissions for a combo membership. <clears throat> the first uh, group that you do under a combo in the month, you'll get $64. The second, you'll get $80, which is a five-month advance. Uh, the third one, you'll get $96, okay, which is a, a six-month advance. Then the fourth, you'll get $112, a seven-month advance. And then the sixth through the tenth, you'll get $144. And from 11 on for that month, you'll get $160 for every IBO that you recruit, okay? Now, and the combo. Okay, now, here's how it works. At the beginning of each month, the advanced commission payout will reset, okay? We're in July, right? So you're recruiting in July. So let's assume that uh, in the month of July you do it. Let's say, well, let's go to August. If you're being paid $100 per IBO in the month of August, right? On September the 1st, it resets and you'll go back to the $40 and you build up each month. Does that make sense to you? Okay. Now what that does, it means that you have to build it each month, okay? And what that does is it makes your IBOs very productive, right? All right. Does everybody understand how that system works? Okay, great. Now let's talk about money for enrolling members only, okay? Now, all member commissions will continue to pay 40%. A regular non-IBO membership commission. Okay, this is somebody who is not an IBO. They're just a pure member. The first of the month will pay you a two-month advance, $20. The second one will pay you $30 or three months advance. The third one will pay you $40 or four-month advance. And the uh, fourth and home will pay you $50 for each one that you decide, uh, roll that month, okay? The combo, first one you make uh, 50, uh, excuse me, 32. The second one you make 48. The third one you make 64. And the fourth on, you make uh, $80. Again, these membership only will reset at the beginning of each month. So if you're making, uh, let's say, uh, uh, I don't know, $50 per membership during the month of August, beginning September the 1st, the first one you do in uh, September will be 20. The second one's 30. The third one's 40. The fourth one's 50. Does that everybody understand how it works? Yeah. All right. Now it's important. This is an important thing. You will always, under all circumstances, receive 100% of your advance commissions. Okay? No chargebacks against your advance commission. Okay? Member writers only. That's all they do is they write members, members, members. And we studied this one one uh, guy that was a big member writer. And if he, he with uh, how many, what was it? He does months? about 30 a month. About 30 I, uh, new members a month. Under the old plan, he made what? About, about 400, 400 something dollars. 400 something. Under this plan, if he wrote the same amount, he'll make over 14 Almost $1,500 at the time. Yeah. Okay. Now, effective September the 1st, all unearned advance commissions will be subject to a chargeback, but they won't come out of your advance commission. That's very important. You go out and you write an IBO or a membership, you'll get your advance, okay? Chargebacks will be deducted from your personal residual commissions because every time you write a $25 membership, you got $10 residual, right? So you write two of them, you got 20. So the first place we're going to look on a chargeback is in your personal residual uh, commission, okay? If there's not a sufficient personal residual commission to cover your chargeback each month, then the, uh, the uh, deficient amount will be deducted from your team residual commission. Now, let me explain what a team residual commission is. Everybody's familiar with the old builder's bonus, right? Yeah. All right. Well, we're changing the name of that. 
It's no longer going to be called a builder's bonus. It will be called a team residual commission. Because that's really what it is, right? It's really building a team and getting a monthly residual. Okay? So, first place they're going to look for a charge back is your personal residual. If it's not enough there, they're going to look at your team residual. Okay? But here's the key. The maximum no matter how many chargebacks you have that month, the maximum you will be charged against your team residual commission is 25%. You'll always get 75% of your team residual commission. Does that make sense? Good morning. All right. All right. Uh, okay, let's move on. Now. Oh, do I have a job? Everybody got some more phone? Everybody's got smart right? I tell you, I, I would start. like to know, is there anybody in this audience that does not, not have a smartphone? A smartphone. Uh, uh, I think we got one person. We got one person. It's amazing. Everybody has a smartphone, right? Right. Yeah. Well, in fact, uh, I was remarking yesterday, you know, I'm really getting ticked off at Steve Jobs for inventing that damn thing. I'm telling you. <laughs> Whoa, it's like an appendage, isn't it? You can't leave it. It's always with you, right? You go to the bathroom. What do you do? You carry your smartphone. I mean, it's ridiculous. Okay. But it is the tool of today. Do you not agree? Yes. It is the tool of the day. You know, where we used to run little ads in the Dallas Morning News, that don't work anymore. Because there is no classifieds in the Dallas Morning News anymore. Okay? So... We, Daniel and I have decided that we have got to get in the digital age, okay? So, the first program that we are introducing is a new IBO prospecting tool with your smartphone, okay? So, effective September the 1st, okay, you will have the opportunity to enhance your prospecting through social media, networking, and your phone contacts, okay? Here's how it's going to work. Every new IBO that you recruit will have a personalized link that they can share with their social network friends and phone contact. This link will include a short video explaining the Dental Plus and Med Plus memberships. The new IBO will also receive a short video explaining the business opportunity, okay? This will give your new IBO a bank of prospects for future membership or opportunity campaigns. Now, the option, this option, uh, you will have an option to either have a, what's called a landing page, okay, or, or not, okay? But it's, it works real simple. Let's assume you recruit a new IBO. They'll get a, a link on their iPhone by text, okay? And it may say something like this. Wow, look what people are doing with this opportunity. And they hit the link, and it takes them to a minute and a half or two-minute video about the AmeriPlan opportunity. And there is a share button on there. There is a join now button on there. There is a text me now button. There is a call me now button. Okay. All right. Uh, so, again, uh, you're in an area that Daniel and I are not real familiar with. i got to be honest with you. But in fact, when the computer train left, guess who was still standing on the station? <laughs>
and they sign up on your e-commerce site. What do you think? All right, let's uh, talk about uh, pin level promotions, okay? Effective September the 1st, IBOs will be able to promote to RSD by recruiting 10 qualified IBOs or enrolling 10 member only or any combination of each. Does everybody understand that? So when you recruit a new IBO and you want to fast track them to uh, RSD, they can do it with IBOs or they can do it with members only or they can do it with a combination. It takes 10 transactions to get them to uh, RSD. Now, if they do it within the first 30 days of activation, they will be eligible for a $300 RSD fast track bonus. All right? All right. Now, a new IBO uh, that fast tracks will earn over $1,000 their first 30 days. Isn't that great? All right. Now, let me tell you a little secret. I'm going to tell you how to never have a chargeback. Never have a chargeback. You need to recruit quantity of new IBOs, right? But you also need to recruit quality IBOs, all right? And if you recruit a new IBO and you fast track them to RSD, okay, they'll become career IBOs and you'll never lose them. You'll never lose them. So your objective, your goal, ought to be every IBO that you recruit, get them to RSD. That's your responsibility, that's your obligation, is to work with them, help them, cajole them, but get them to RSD, because if you can get them to RSD, you'll never have a chargeback on that IBO. Okay? All right, now, to be, as mentioned, now, Here's the way you go up the ladder, okay? Effective September the 1st, it's going to be easier to promote to other pin levels. To be, to be commission qualified at each pin level, you must have the following, all right? To become an SRSD, you need three qualified RSDs on your front line. That'll get you the SRSD. The ESD takes six. SESD, it takes nine. And NSD, it takes 12. It's real easy, right? Yeah. 3, 6, 9, 12, okay? Yeah. All right. <laughs> you know, uh, and that's easy because when AmeriPlan first started, somebody tell me how many RSDs you had to have on your front line? 18. Now it's only going to take 12. But let me tell you what, back then, if you got 18 RSDs on your front line, uh, you know, you, every, every national that you recruited on those RSDs made you how much? Yeah. 3000 a month. Wow. Every one of them. All right. So, now I want to define what we're considered a qualified RSD. They must have a minimum of $100 in MR, okay, to be qualified. That's four plans. That's four plans, okay? Now, the yeah, $100 in MR requirement will not apply to any IBO with an active date prior to September the 1st. So that is only for uh, new IBOs uh, recruited after September the 1st, okay? Now, all existing IBOs and sales directors who have not reached the level of NSD uh, when we implement or above will have to promote under the new qualifications after the implementation date. Does that make sense to everybody? So if you are an RSD today, and September the 1st, you're still an RSD, uh, in order to get to uh, senior regional sales director, how many RSDs do you have to have on your front line? Three. Three, right. I think you guys are getting this stuff, okay. All right, now there'll be no change in the Centennial Club, okay? Now, we've got a sales team bonus that we're introducing September the 1st. Each sales director, will have the opportunity to earn $500 sales team bonus when their sales team enrolls 50 or more members in a month. Did you hear that? 
when you and your sales team do 50 memberships in a month, we're going to send you a $500 bonus. All right? Okay. is comprised of the sales directors personally recruiting qualified IBOs and their IBOs and membership enrollments until that IBO reaches RSD, then they get their own bucket, right? Okay. So, all you got to do is get you and your whole team to do 50 memberships and we'll send you a $500 check, okay? All right. Here we go. We used to have top producers trips. Boy, people like that. Okay? Well, we're going to do trips too, but we're going to do something better than that. Effective September the 1st, in order to qualify for the tr our trip and bonus, each month we will take a snapshot of you and your sales team's last 12 months of membership production. And if in that 12 months you and your sales team have enrolled a minimum of 50 memberships each month and at least 450 are still active, the sales director will qualify for the trip and a cash bonus of ten thousand dollars. Now, the winner uh, will get to choose uh, from a list of destinations like Las Vegas, Cancun, Key West, New York, Brownwood, Texas, any place you want to go. Now, the uh, trip will be for two, the sales director and their guests. Okay. Now, let's talk about a new Cadillac club. Everybody see those Cadillacs out there? Yeah. Everybody here want to drive a new Cadillac? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, we've decided to uh, launch a new Cadillac club. Uh, we want to help all new AmeriPlan IBOs and sales directors drive a new Cadillac. So, effective for all new IBOs with an active date after September the 1st, okay, you'll get, uh, you'll go under these rules, okay? Number one, at any time your earned income is 50000 in any 12-month period, you will qualify for an Ameriplan, uh, for a Cadillac and Ameriplan will make the payment, okay? <laughs> Does everybody understand what I just said? Yeah. You reboot a new IBO, and when that IBO's income Reaches fifty thousand dollars, we'll give them a Cadillac. Okay. Now here's what earned income is: all advanced commissions they make, all personal and team residuals. I'm telling you what, you're going to have people driving Cadillacs before you drive a Cadillac. I'm telling you. Make it clear: it doesn't have to be trouble. If you do uh, IBO uh, gets to fifty thousand. In income, if they do it in six months, they get a Cadillac. They get a Cadillac. It's the fifty thousand of uh, income that triggers the Cadillac for the new folks after September the first. Okay. Everybody understand? Everybody understand that? <laughs> All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I like that new coupe out there. Do you like? Do you like the coupe for the Ford? Oh, well, somebody likes the SUV. Okay. All right. Now, in order to maintain, you'll you'll need to have a earned income, that's all advances, all residual commissions, and all team residuals of at least $4,000 or more in earned income, and AmeriPlan will continue to pay 100% of the payments, okay? Then, uh, this change will not affect any IBO or sales director with an active date prior to September the 1st. You are still under the old rules, okay? But all the new IBOs you recruit after September the 1st are going to be under this new Cadillac Club rules. What do you think? Woo! Here's a summary. A new IBO can earn up to $70,000 in their first year as an AmeriPlan sales director. Isn't that amazing? $70,000. An IBO who makes it to sales director can earn a $1,000 bonus if they do it in the 30 days, first 30 days. Uh, they can earn an additional $500 a month under the team bonus, right? At any time, you, you uh, get to $50,000, you get the Cadillac. A sales director can earn a trip. We valued it at about $2,500. A sales director can earn a $10,000 bonus. You add it all up, they could qualify and make over $70,000. Isn't that great? All right. Okay. 
as I mentioned a while ago, AmeriPlan is going digital. Okay, totally. We will no longer have a sales aid store, as Daniel mentioned a while ago. However, you'll still be able to order the Dental Plus, Med Plus, and Combo brochures if you want them, or you can print them off of your own uh, printer at home, okay? All uh, brochures, forms, and applications will be available in the back office to download. We are discontinuing Bloom Bucks as of September the 1st. Uh, as there's no sales agents to purchase, you can order your brochures in your back office. Uh, we, we will enhance the e-kit, okay? Uh, with training and videos and other needs. We will no longer ship IBO kits as everyone will have access to the e-kit through their back office and there will be no additional charge to access this e-kit. What do you think? Right. Woo! Well, those are the changes that we're going to make effective September the 1st. It is Daniel and I's belief that if we get back to the basics, what made this company grow was a little old $19.95 dental plan, okay? What is going to make this company grow in the future is a Dental Plus and a Med Plus. I'll say it again. It's low entry to become commission qualified IBO. You knew IBO is only going to be $69.95, okay, for the regular plan. That's low entry, okay? High commissions. When you can make uh, a $100 for every new IBO that you recruit in a month for 11 on, that's high commissions. Wouldn't you agree? All right. And low reoccurring. So reoccurring on a regular uh, membership is only going to be $25 a month. You get those three things together, you will be successful. One of the points of this convention, I hope, is for each one of you to reset your priorities, reset your goals. Nothing would please Daniel and I more than to have everyone sitting in this room at $100,000 a year or more, okay? And if you do that, you'll not only get the money, but you'll also get one of them new Cadillacs out there, okay? Thank you very much.